LLL breaks loose as cops start seizing guns in the state with no due process. Residents in this sunny state were caught off guard when a Broward County judge ordered the first gun confiscation under the new Florida gun control laws. The judge ordered that the man, a 56-year-old, have four guns and 267 rounds of ammunition removed from his belonging. The man was claimed to be a threat or risk to himself and others, and his weapons were taken away by what is called the risk protection law. Some people refer to it as the red flag as well. It was also reported that the man who had his guns taken away was involuntarily taken to a hospital for psychiatric treatment which is also something covered under Florida's Baker Act. It is unknown what the man's treatment was. It is also unknown what the treatment was, but it appears to have been forced upon the man. The new legislation allows Florida authorities to confiscate weapons when someone is deemed a threat or risk to themselves or others. Some think there is a fine line drawn upon who is considered a real risk and who is fraudulently labeled a risk. It's not above or below the authorities to find someone a threat merely to target them in a personal attack. The man who was targeted is also now prohibited from buying another gun or any ammunition. It is unknown if the man has a criminal history. The Sun Sentinel provided this information. The legislation is part of a bill signed one week ago by Governor Rick Scott. The new laws impose some restrictions on gun sales and give law enforcement new power to take action when they have evidence that a person may pose a danger. The National Rifle Association immediately filed a lawsuit in federal court in Tallahassee challenging some aspects of the law, including the legality of banning gun sales to people under the age of 21. Lighthouse Point Police made the request on March 14, one week after they were called to conduct a welfare check on the man, who they said was behaving strangely at his condominium building. Authorities said it was the latest in a series of encounters law enforcement had with the man, though he has no prior history of arrests in Florida. He had some prior arrests in Pennsylvania, records show. Police were called after the man turned off the main electrical breakers to the condo building in Lighthouse Point, court records show. The South Florida Sun Sentinel is not identifying the man because of his medical condition. The man told officers he was being targeted and burglarized by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and a neighbor who lives in his building, the judge wrote in his order. He could not describe the neighbor but stated that the neighbor can shapeshift, he can change heights and I'm not sure where he comes from and to be honest, he looks like Osama bin Laden. He also told officers that he had to turn off the electrical breakers because they are electrocuting me through my legs. Officers said they saw weapons in his home after they were called to check on his welfare. They also found evidence he had a voluminous amount of notes containing numerous references to former President Barack Obama, that he was killed in the 1980s but came back and now murders children to place their spirits into the man's head, is a member of Al-Qaeda, and is the man's enemy, the judge wrote in his order. Red flag laws allow police to take guns from people who show signs of violence. The man was involuntarily committed for treatment in a separate proceeding, and it is not yet known when he would be eligible for release, records show. The man did not attend the initial hearing, which temporarily removes his access to guns because he is hospitalized. Many believe that there is a massive problem with this because anyone could call the police and state that someone is acting strange and posing a threat to the public. The problem is that two people could have a domestic dispute and one of them overreacts. They could call the police and say someone has a gun or is acting bizarre. However, what if the person who made the call fabricated the story just to enact revenge on the person they do not like? Many angry people in the world are unable to settle their differences peacefully. Some people can and will call the police and make up a story just to watch someone get in trouble. The other big problem is that if fake calls happen too often, then the police won't know when a situation is dire. Or, other people will be faced with the prosecution and unwanted mental illness. This is a very tricky situation that could place people in danger if it's something that is abused by people seeking to hurt others. There should be a massive legal penalty for anyone who makes false claims that someone is a threat because anyone calling the police without a just cause is simply putting other people's lives in danger.